Did you know that amphibians and reptiles were here on Earth millions of years ago, even before the dinosaurs? It's incredible, isn't it? Today, my friends Bridget and Shane from the Science Center of Iowa are going to showcase some of the best parts of these creatures. Let's check them out. The Science Center of Iowa is home to a wide range of indigenous reptiles and amphibians. During a visit to SCI, you can catch a live snippy feeding or hang out with some of the animal friends up close during a cold-blooded critters program. You can even see a display of all four of the venomous snakes found here in Iowa. What makes all the animals at SCI so special? They are all excellent ectotherms. An ectotherm is the scientific term for an animal that is cold-blooded, but this doesn't necessarily mean that they have cold blood. Let's take a look at the origin of the word ectotherm. The word ectotherm originates from the Greek word meaning ecto, which means outside, and therm, meaning hot. This means ectothermic animals do not generate heat internally, but instead, their heat and energy comes from their surroundings. So technically, their blood can be cold, but only if their surroundings are. 